Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> I am here. Me? Who am I? Mary Catherine. I am here with the beautiful Tamara Goodstein from, well, in Switzerland right now, the heat of Switzerland. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, Tamara. And, oh, um, it's I'm a pleasure, <laughs> as always. So welcome. I love having you on. I love having chats with you and sharing our thoughts, our energies with everybody as well. And today we're going to chat a little bit about the Light, uh, Lionsgate Light Language Festival and the workshop that you, Tamara, are hosting as well with a couple of other ladies. Yes. Um, and I just want to introduce you to those of you, those of you out, out there that may not know Tamara personally, uh, or, but I would say go back and look at my old video. She's got lots of juicy content there. Tamara mm -hmm. is a intuitive life coach. She's a Reiki master. She's an energy healer that uses a lot of different modalities. And one of those modalities is, of course, light language. And she's a light language activator. So welcome, welcome, Tamara. Thank you for being with me today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Are you excited for the festival? Yay! Of course. This is so exciting. So, so exciting. I mean, light language is just, you know, this, this incredible tool that we have at our fingertips and everyone can do it, right? And that's what this whole festival is about. We just it want everyone to come in and realize you can do this too. And it really just brings in so much light and so much joy and healing. It does. It does. I'm sure it, it's, it, this was sparked up from all of us together, wasn't it? And, you know, we were all gathered together, a lot of our Star Tribes ladies and, and gents and brothers. And this became a vision for us to host this festival so that, you know, it's a free event. Just by the way, everybody, this is a free live event. So it's free to attend live all day long going the whole day it has multiple different hosts just like tamara multiple different co-hosts helping out as well and different themes different topics uh i'll, I'll actually go through a little bit of what's maybe what's in store for everybody will i and we'll go into what you're doing then absolutely so, first of all it is on the Lionsgate weekend, right? So Lionsgate portal is opening around 26th, 28th of July, and it's staying open until August. I always feel it taper off around my birthday week, which is like 13, 14. So, it, you know, it's not just open one day. On the 8th, they say that's the most powerful, but it really does expand over a couple of days, weeks even. And we're hosting on the 7th. So this festival is on the Sunday before the 8th, Sunday the 7th. And if we're to go by UK time zone, which is, you know, GMT plus one, then we're starting at 12 o'clock. That's one o'clock your time, Tamara, CET Europe. Mm -hmm. And it goes on right up into the evening, finishing at seven o'clock UK time, eight o'clock European time. So far, the times are still landing with the different workshops, but that's what we have so far. So. This is a, you can pick and choose the time that you're able to attend a workshop at this festival. And it'll just be a space that's online where you'll have access to multiple different themes and workshops throughout. Some of them are, if you are interested in learning about light language, if you'd like to receive activation codes and speak it yourself, sound it yourself, play with it yourself, then there's a workshop in the morning for that. There's another one on interpretation of light language, some of you might already be working with that modality and would like to learn a little bit more about how to interpret what's coming through you. Amazing. There is another one on dragons. We have one, I know, we have another one that is on uh, dancing into ecstasy with Kundalini light codes, with Naomi hosting that one. We have earth grids and locations with light language, Kim is hosting that one. We have Elemental Kingdoms, Elena Dragomir is hosting that one. That I think is going to be including the Fae, the unicorn energies. How mm -hmm. exciting, delicious. This is amazing. I'm going to keep going. We have Zahara Celestial coming in with trans channeling. We have Tree and the Tree Spirit. 
with Tamara and, <laughs> and Christine, of course. And we have, obviously, to close out, we're doing the Lionsgate transmission. There's actually more to be added in, but I won't tell you the names yet because we're just anchoring that. That's so far. I mean, that is a lot of content, isn't it? It is. <laughs> And we have to keep it like within an hour and there's just so much to share, right. but we'll do, we'll do our best. <laughs> there is meditations. Um, each workshop is a uh, roughly up to an hour long. That's for sure. Some might be 45 minutes. Some might be an hour. Um, and you can go from one to the next if you wish, or just pick one here at this time and then come back a couple of hours later and tune into another. This is a wonderful thing. It's like a, pick and mix at a sweet shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have some dragons. I'll have some trees. I'll have some trans channeling. Thank you very much. My yummy, yummy, dad. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so that I feel is a, a little bit of an intro into what to expect. We'll put the link if any of you want to register right now. It's a free online uh, live event. Um, if I, I would love for you to tomorrow actually to tell people about the tree and the tree spirits workshops that you're running without giving too much away. We'll just maybe yes. give them a teaser. <laughs> Absolutely. It'll be a pleasure. So as Mary was saying, we're going to have different sessions and the session that I was really called to do is a session on connecting to trees and tree spirits, the energies that are held within trees, because like everything, everything on earth, trees, have a consciousness mm -hmm. and they even though they don't physically move in our world they do <laughs> not physically they're multi-dimensional beings just as we are they're interdimensional beings and so they're not just here mm -hmm. they're everywhere and that's something that I tapped into and connected um, through a, a session that I did a past life parallel life uh, regression session and I had experienced a lifetime where I was a guardian of the great trees and I could feel the connection. I could hear the messages and that unlocked something in me. And now I literally talk to trees and I realized it was something that I was doing when I was young. Just, I didn't realize what I was doing, but now this has been unlocked in me and it's like a remembrance that's come through and trees are just they're so vital to our earth, right? Without them, we can't survive. I mean, you think of the function, the physical function of trees. They provide oxygen for us, right? They absorb carbon dioxide. Without that, well, we wouldn't be able, nothing could live on the surface of this planet. And so trees are literally, they are guardians. They are portals to other realms, and they are also the um, the connection to the elemental realms, mm. um, because trees, as I said, have a consciousness. They are anchored and grounded into Mother Earth, and yet they are like antenna that reach up and connect to divine source, just as we do. It's it, they're a reminder for us, and uh, of course, right before doing this live with Mary, I pulled a card, and this is the card that came up soul tree and if you look at the image it's exactly what has come through for me which is the tree is just anchored into mother earth fully grounded into gaia and yet also fully connected to source the divine and that's what i i'd like to bring through into this session so that's why i felt the need to do a session on trees and in my experience just walking around i love to take pictures of trees um, and I've also found many pictures on the internet where I physically, with my physical eyes, I will see the faces of the beings that inhabit these trees. It's, it's, it's like they're speaking to you, they're, they're, they're manifesting themselves to you. So that's one of the things that I also would like for people to learn how to do is just how to like physically you can look at a tree and you can see the being that's in there. Tree spirits can be anything. In I mean, historically, tree spirits are more of the feminine nature. Mm. Um, and when you look at mythology, this is something I'll go into in the course, they have usually been feminine spirits. But that doesn't have to be the case. I mean, there could be fae in, you know, in the trees, or elves, or any type of elemental being that is very connected 
to the earth and here as a protector of the earth because that's basically what trees are. So the first thing will be about talking about the trees and kind of, you know, why, why I felt so called to do this. And then we'll kind of move into how do you connect to a tree? You know, I mean, there could be some of you out there that are like, well, how do I just talk to a tree? Well, yeah, you can. <laughs> it's, it's not that it's, it is, it's a, it's a conscious <laughs> being. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I've certainly, I've, in public, I put my hand up against a tree. I sit against it. I hug trees. I do. Such a tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> I've certainly gotten strange looks, but you know who cares? I, it's I'm connecting to my tree. Um, I have my favorite tree here in Switzerland. I'm very fortunate. I literally live by this beautiful forest, and it's just got tons of trees. And whenever I go out for a walk. <clears throat> That's how I first connected. I was drawn. This tree literally called to me, and that's my tree. <laughs> I don't own it, but it is. It's my. It's my connection. Um, and you just listen, like anything else. You go within and you listen, and you will receive incredible messages, such wisdom, such truth. Because trees are pure. They're. They are just a connection that we have, because. We're like trees, right? We, we need to ground into Mother Earth, but we also need to be connected to the divine because that is what we are. Right. We're, we're both, you know, we are fully human and we're fully divine. Mm -hmm. And I really feel that that's what trees remind us. They remind us of that. So that's pretty much going to be my session. There will, of course, be a meditation a little journey that I'll take you on because obviously we're going to be online and we're not going to be outside and physically connecting to the trees. And that's something that I want to say. You don't have to have to have to actually physically be connected to a tree to connect to a tree. You can do it through meditation, through okay. visualization, like with anything else. So we'll go on a little journey and um, we'll connect to the trees or you might even feel that you're embodying a tree. And then we'll have some light language um, activations, some transmissions that will bring in that, that, that would allow you to open up to your connection, to receiving the messages and the wisdom of the trees. Um, and that'll be myself and my beautiful co-host, Judy, mm -hmm. and my beautiful oracle, Christine. So the three of us are hosting this session, <laughs> and we are very excited. <laughs> I love that because you know me, you know, me and trees, like it's, they, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, when I was living in Paris, it was the only form of, I felt for me, natural connection I could find here. It's this big city, go to a park. And I have to say Paris is amazing. They love their parks here. So there's like ones everywhere. And it was my way of decharging, letting the whole, you know, mm -hmm. the nightmares of the night or the energies of the city or troubles that I was holding, I would go and not like I'm dumping on the tree, but there was a <laughs> sense of I can offload that without feeling that the tree can't take it because it can. Yeah, it can. It's infinite in that. And it does. Mm -hmm. And it talks Absolutely. back. It was, I think one of my first experiences was I was like, I'm going to converse and talk to everything, even out loud. <laughs> I got no <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy lady, crazy in, lady. <laughs> in my park I was definitely known in my park <laughs> and it was like you know how are you today tree and just really simple silly things like like the way children it brings you into yes. the play exactly and exactly that's so, <laughs> <laughs> so healing it was, it was my refuge my sanctuary to be around trees and there are shelter, like you said to me earlier on, because we're, we're melting a little here, ladies and gents. Heat waves. <laughs> you're like, thank you, trees. You are our shelter. Thank you. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> and as it's you said true. that, I was imagining also, as you said that to me, I didn't say it out loud to you at the time, but it was, you know, you get that raindrop, a little gentle rain, and the single drop rolls along a leaf and lands. I was imagining it landing here, and I was like, oh, I'm drinking. Mm. Mm. I'm yeah. going off topic, but yes, this is the excitement of connecting in this way, isn't it? It is. It really is. And 
it's funny, right before coming on, I shared this with you. I was out in my garden and I was connecting with the trees, um, of so many trees that surround my, my garden. And I was, you know, I was sort of mulling things over and I, and I wasn't yet really centered. And sure enough, a bee flew into my face. <laughs> And I instantly got the message. And it was the trees sending this through the bee to just be. Because <laughs> trees are, they, trees just are, right? They don't compare. They don't judge. They don't care. Like, oh, this tree's more beautiful than I am. This tree's smarter than I am. This No, they just are. They know who they are. And they're able to, to, ground us and bring us back to that when we're kind of overwhelmed and feeling things and, you know, going through, as you said, moments where, you know, challenging moments yeah. and just being in their presence, just being in their presence instantly calms you and recenters you. It's just that connection to nature, which we, unfortunately, with the lives that we lead on this earth, many of us do not have. You know, as you were saying, you were lucky in Paris that you have um, parks nearby, but there are many cities where it's very hard to find a tree, mm -hmm. um, you know, and so the, the stress levels and, the, you know, all the sort of the lower vibrational um, emotions that, that affect us, we're not able to cleanse them. We're not able to recharge. But when we have trees around us, I'm not saying that's the only way, but that is a, One of the ways. a surefire way, absolutely. <clears throat> Because as you said, they do, it's not like we want to dump our problems into the tree. <laughs> Poor trees, they already take so much. I mean, they absorb all the pollution for us. And, but they are powerful enough that they can transmute all of that for us. And they, they do. They Even do. holding us as yeah. we move it through, it's that feeling of being held. Exactly. Yes. Because their energy field Remember, we all have an energy field around yeah. us. The energy field of a tree is enormous. And so just stepping into the vicinity of a tree, you're already being drawn into that energy. You don't even have to touch it. Of course it helps, it's even more powerful. I mean, when I touch trees, it's like, woof, right. I can just feel it and it's flowing through my whole body. But just being in the vicinity, um, it's just, there's an immediate calm that comes over me. And it's, you know, that's what they're here to do. They yeah, really the are. System, yeah. The regulation of the heart system. Yeah, it's incredible. Breathing, it, it, it makes you focus on your they're breathing. Like, they're like lungs themselves. They are. They are. Yeah. Have you ever seen the diagram of a human lung and the diagram of a tree with the branches? As within, so without. Right. <laughs> they are, they're the, aren't they? They're like the lungs of the Mother Earth, basically. And I don't know for many of you watching, but folklore in trees. I mean, in Ireland, there's a lot of folklore, magic, medicine yes. associated with the various different types of trees. They were considered extremely, you know, important in the lives of the people, the ancient peoples, for the knowledge yes. that they brought and the uses that they had. It's just, I think you could go on about this all day. It's true. And I do touch upon a little a bit of that, like, you know, the Celtic culture with the Druids. Um, and you've got the Greek mythology with the, I mean, like you said, um, trees basically are the medicine of the earth as well. Right. They provide pretty much everything that we need. It's just that we've lost that knowledge. We've lost that wisdom, but a lot of that is, it's, we're remembering it. Yeah. It's coming back. Yeah. That's what this workshop is, isn't it? You're, you're it's a remembrance. remembering. And for those attending, they're going to access that coding that remembrance in their records, that remembrance in their body, via all of you hosting this. It's a co-creation. It's beautiful. We're getting to remember ourselves. Yes. And, and when we come together like this, we are activating each other, yeah. right? Because we all carry different codes, unique. So that's the beauty of something like this. Thanks. Get up. I feel like I need to go and climb a tree now and sit in this branch. <laughs> <and play. laughs> I know. Take I want tree. my tree house. <laughs> oh. I, I was wondering, Tamara, how, how would you feel about us bringing through a little short transmission, just maybe a connection transmission, actually. I don't know, unless something's coming through you for an intention yeah. on tree. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do a little, <laughs> a little transmission, a taster. Yeah. 
Ah, okay. So my, um, yeah, no, what's coming through for me is just, again, this, this remembrance that we are grounded, to remember to ground, to be, be connected, be the anchor to Mother Earth, to Gaia, but also remember your connection to the divine. Remember who you are. Ni trandi la we a coro soto o ni a to coro sita e randa la we shotroati ano. Ni trandi la we a to coto se to coro o ni ano se toro o e randa la we se coro o ti katashi toro no hi toro no e hi toro no. Ia we setoro o ni na we tokoro o na mata ari kutu. Mua ta era kutu ora seta ari a shei no e ato setoro o roro yala. O roro no 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 yala. O roro kutu o roro kutu o roro kutu o kutu. E sei tora ari a tokoro si toro o noa. Hi shi a ro o ni mi tranda la we koro o seta ra ari. E randa la we tokoro o re ka seta o. E ta o re a toro shoto o. Ki si wāti ko to ori kat a se to ori ana. I ta ar ori ana ora se a. Uwe a toro ko ti a to se ori ano. I a toro shotata aru ya a se tata. Shalar kundi ador Nirun 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 Letting the words, the sound go through you. I had such a sense when I closed my eyes, and that beautiful sound came through you. That you were inviting all those beings, those energies, those messages through. It was like a door was opened, the curtain was pulled aside, mm. and it's like, come on in. <laughs> We're here. You, you don't have, there's no barriers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Love, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yours was very powerful. I, I felt like I was, I was the tree being grounded into the earth. It was an old oh. ancient fella that I, I got a nod that he came through because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Like he knew you. <laughs> An old ancient fella. <laughs> he was a grandfather tree, yeah. That's what I felt like. He was yes. a grandfather tree. An uh, elder. An elder. And it was rooting, yes. rooting, mm -hmm. rooting in the place. Yes. It's all part oh, of it. Beautiful. Oh. <sighs> so I, I hope that you're feeling the energy that's going to come through. <laughs> 
you know, in this session and in all the other sessions. It's just going to be, TV it's going to be amazing. <laughs> thank you again. Do oh, I leave thank anything you. out? Is there anything else for us to share before we, we close up and finish? No, I think, we're, I think we're good. I mean, we'll just to finish, we'll finish off our individual sessions with um, some Q&A. Mm -hmm. If anybody has any questions, if they want any further information about trees, you know, you can contact me or any of the other um, ladies that are doing the session with me. Yeah. And then we will we'll close out. So this is exciting. And we hope that so many of you come on to join us because this is incredible. Um, this is going to be an amazing, amazing festival. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to recap quickly for anybody that popped on the middle of this. 7th of August, which is a Sunday. That's when the Lionsgate Light Language Festival has been held. It's a running all day event. It's starting UK time, that's GMT plus one at 12, finishing at seven that evening, UK GMT plus one. So those of you in the US, you can come on maybe a bit later. Um, you'll be your morning times. And those of you in Australia, I think you'll catch the earlier ones. It'll be your evening. Um, I will put a link in under this video for you to register. And just to let you know, uh, the live event is free. You, of course, are free to offer any donations if that is aligned. We receive it to run the whole thing. Thank you so much. And if you can't make the day, if you have something else on, maybe you're on holidays, maybe you're, you're booked to go somewhere, you have something else booked in that day, you can purchase the recordings. We're gonna do this, wrap this up in a bundle afterwards because um, there's going to be concurrent ones. You're not going to be able to attend everything, even if you're there the whole day, because at two o'clock there's this, at two o'clock there's also something else. So the recordings will be available individually for seven pounds. I mean, very, very reasonable. <laughs> and the whole bundle, all of the workshop for 22 pounds. So excellent value for everybody as well to catch up on and receive the recordings. There's so much coding in that for you. You will be a week, two weeks getting through it all. <laughs> <laughs> We'll also be offering special offers that will all come out after, after you register. There will be so much little gifts and trinkets in that as well, as well as mini taster courses and uh, course workbooks, everything to help you in your expansion of the mind, in your expansion of the heart, in your expansion of everything and all that you be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye, Tamara. See you soon. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Love, love. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>